Hey everybody, it's Darla here, and uh, let me adjust you a little bit. <laughs> kind of closey there, aren't you? My herb shirt on. I wanted to show you a couple little products that I've finished crafting. Uh, oh, and my little wig. This is a little wig I I got. I don't know the name of it, but uh, now this isn't my idea, but it is my design. I seen this other lady. She did. Uh, she does a lot of scrap pieces of wood and turns it into things and one of the things she she had just mentioned it would be a good purse hanger and um i thought wow that's a good idea because how many of us women come home and have a bag or purse i really can't stand purses but and we need to put it somewhere so i'm going to try to make a line of these this is my first one uh as you see it's a little birdhouse i did a little uh clay flower up here because this this board is recycled I got it at the thrift store probably a dollar it looks like it was an old cutting board it had a hole in it so I didn't I covered up that hole with this clay flower and I have napkins that kind of resemble the flower I have on there so I put that on there little birdie the house and this here I got at an antique store. It's a little uh, knob. And I thought it would be perfect to hang your purse on. And I got a little hanger hook in the back. This is going to be on my Etsy store. And I think, it, I think it came out nice. Really nice. I also did this one, a purse holder. And it's a little smaller than that one. This here was a hook I had got at the uh, Goodwill, I think. It didn't have the screws with it. Yeah, and I put a rub on on there. Kind of distressed it a little bit. The hanger in the back. But yeah, these are nice uh, decorative items you could hang in your hallway, um, in your bedroom, wherever you put your purse. And it would probably hold a backpack, maybe a, a, a lunch bucket, a briefcase. I think these little hooks may hold up to 50 pounds. And these are screwed in. I also made this one. It's, a, I think, a cutting board. It was kind of beat up. But this I just made as a lean-to. I'm going to burn off the... It's got a little fuzzies up there. But I uh, did another rub-on. Uh, you know, the back is just plain. But you can lean it up against uh, when you're decorating. You could have it in your kitchen, a little lean it, or you could even hang it up if you wanted. It's just a little deco piece. All of these are uh, repurposed stuff that I got at Goodwill or thrift, you know, thrifting. I did a little video on this. This is my little Uncle Sam <laughs> gnome. So I just had this little poster. I don't know what you call it. I don't think it's pressed wood I think they call it and it had a picture of uh, like a chef on there you know it had some kind of saying so I took all that off I put uh, cardstock on there right and then you know I just painted the top hat these little pieces of wood I got off of another project that I'm working on the American little nose but I thought that would be cute to hang you can hang it outside uh, on your porch. You could put it in the middle of a reef. I think it came out really cute. I'm going to get my last little item that I want you to look at. Maybe we'll just go over here. Ooh. Okay, here's my little uh, basket on its legs. Let me get this out of here, a little lid. Yeah, I think it came out nice. A little basket. Like I said, you could put... Uh, I was thinking to put reading books in there, or I could put my crafting in there you know my yarn that i'm you know working on a project and uh yeah i think they married together really well this i don't think i'll be selling because it's kind of a a big item be kind of hard to ship so i'm just going to use this around my house okay guys just wanted to give you an update on what i've been doing and i'll talk to you later bye